Right, so, this free game Friday might be a little bit different from last week's, because last week we focused on one game for the full video, and it was a good game. But this week, the game that I wanted to do was not working, so I just went on the Steam store and found three random games. I'm going to check them out today. All three of these games are vastly different, and, I, and because of this, I've given them three unique names. We have the statistic, we have the simulation, and we have the speed run. If you are new around here as well, please consider subscribing because it really does help out, especially as a smaller content creator. Anyway, let's begin with the statistic. Right, we're not gonna spend much time on this game because it won't even go full screen. And then the name of the game is Coin Flipping Simulator for Probability and Statistics. Like, have you ever heard more of a more of a catchy title? So I've already set up what I think I wanna do. Uh, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you all at the end. So we flipped heads 516 times and we flipped tails 484 times and I mean uh, That's 10 minutes of my life. I'm uh, never getting back On to number two the simulation So already I'm liking the look of this a lot more than coin flipping simulator for probability and statistics So uh, let's let's log in and we agree with the world Quite like, is it, is it Earth? No, no, it's not Earth. It kind of looks like Africa, right? You know, Madagascar down there. What's this? Can we, can we, can we say something? Uh, hello, world? Sure. Ooh, ooh, and then we can... I'm really confused of what's... Um... Right, uh, ba base colour. Right, let's just start going through as if we're going to make... I don't know what these are, but we're making one, boys. I'm, of course, going to go for, like, the most obnoxious pink we can find. Uh, drop model or texture there. Ooh. So we can, we can use Hostag 6 Hype. That is, that is progress. There doesn't seem to be that much, like, well, any information on how to really play on the, uh, on the Steam page. But I suppose it is early access, so you can't be like, you know... Could, this does seem like it has quite a nice bit of potential. So I'm now just going to have a bit of a look and see if there's anything else we can do with this game. Because I don't... I'm, I'm kind of running out of... Uh, Running out of games to put into this week's episode. Like, the one that I wanted to do, for some reason, I can't, like, reset my progress so far in it. And I wanted to do it from the tutorial, so, uh, there's that. So far, neither of those two games really amounted to much. Like, the coin flipping one, that's exactly what it said on the tin, I, I feel like I might have been missing something with the simulator. Simulation. But, do not worry, boys. But we have one more. We have the one that will save this entire video. We have the speed run. Right, on to the last game, boys. And this game is called Frost Runner. This game is sort of like a speed running game. So it's a pretty simple sort of platformer and the aim is get to the end as quick as possible. But like the graphics and the whole like vibe and that, it sort of reminds me of either like, you know, Cluster Truck or uh, just like a old school memeulous video. Prologue one, quick beginnings, press space to start. And right, let's go. Uh, reach the exit gate to finish the level. Seems, seems pretty simple. We can jump with space and we're on six seconds. We're not that far behind. And I mean, all right, let's, let's restart. And then if we, oh yeah, time save. Oh, and we just, we just shaved off 0.129 seconds. So, uh, just, just call me dream. Oh, and not, not, not 0.177. Like we are actually getting closer. We are only four milliseconds away. Um, I, I promise you I will actually progress with the game, like show you, you know, a more a wider range of levels than just this, but we just shaved 81 milliseconds off. We are we are now only three milliseconds away from the leaderboard. Not not even that. Do you reckon we can get over there somehow? Like into any of the uh, bigger world. Ooh. So yes, I don't know if it's gonna be like ghost terrain. Uh, can we Ooh Um Is that a tape? Pro speedrunner. 
26 seconds. And you say, you might, you might be wondering, you know, why are you doing it so much? But let me tell you, one day, Carl Jobs will make a video on me and I'll be a very happy man. Right, so the question is, what is faster, walking or running? So I reckon we do like a... Hmm, that's closer. But does it feel... If we jump the entire way but along the same sort of line, is that faster or slower? About the same... Hold on. If we're going to run on the edge uh, as smooth as possible, we will have a jump there, like one singular jump. So that's um, 5.77. And if we do the same thing but jump the entire time, it's going to be 5.77. And we have 5.75. So I think jumping might actually be marginally faster, which I wasn't actually expecting. So uh, that's good. Now imagine just the first level, it is going to be so optimized. Like, and people will be doing this, it's like frame perfect. Because obviously the first level, you want, you want to make a good impression. You want to get a good impression of the game you're playing. But uh, that, that, that will not stop us. You saw nothing. But that was good, that was good, that was good. We're right on the edge, we're running. Don't know why we're running. I think jumping's faster, but... Even though we didn't get that good of a score then, I feel like this is definitely the way to do it. How do we... Or do we literally try and... Right, I think we might have to move on to the rest of the level, because it's not really showing a uh, a good reflection of the entire game. Just just sweat in the first level. Like, because the level's going to get more complex. I feel like they do. I think I've played this before. But we might make a video sometime where we just try and get on the leaderboard on as many levels as possible. So uh, let, me, let me know if that is something you may be interested in. We're on to level two now. Prologue two, learn to jump. You see, we're that good, we're still on the second prologue level. We're not even playing the real game yet. Uh, press space to jump. No shit. There seems to be another... Um, I think these may be uh, like collectibles on each level, perhaps. There, so we've got... I think we want to get there. Nice clean jump over... 5.77. That was... I feel like we lost a bit of time at the end there. Like, I feel like the start was actually not too bad. But I think we like... Oh, that was that was good. That was good. That was uh, five point <laughs> nice. If we sort of jump there. We want to jump literally on that little curve. Just ah. Oh. How how can we shave more time off that? Because to me that felt absolutely perfect. Small jump. Drop. Big jump. Big jump. Big jump. So we're still shaving time off. But these are these are marginal gains. Which yeah. We kind of want, but at the same time, I just want to—I just want to find like some Mac off uh, cheat run, and just uh, become, become a god. And that's the other thing. I think we need to start en trying to enter the portal from like the optimal angle, rather than just go in or uh, jump into the middle of it. That is the way. Snowfall, prologue three. Uh, stuck somewhere. Press R. Oh, there. Right. So we have to pro game the move. Oh, oh, we could have just. Ooh, that felt that felt good. That felt good. Like I said, that complete after completely changing the way I do it. See, see this using uh, Pythagoras because uh, we found the shortest length. So we could obviously run all the way here and all the way here. But if we just if we just take that distance, I'm not gonna run it in a line. Jump, jump. But out of all the games I've done today, this is the first one that I think is actually has potential to be quite fun. We're close there, but we're just gonna go on to the next level. I wanna get I wanna get like through a little bit further. Maybe through even just a prologue, because I think at some point I'm gonna do a full video on this, because I don't I don't really want to spend too much time here because I'm already late like, trying to get this out for Friday. Like I'm recording this uh at 11 on Friday morning. I want to try and get up. Like, I need, I've got work at 5. So, let, let's hope it works. Find collectibles. Nice. Wait, can we jump through that, do you reckon? Nope, nope, this bad mistake, bad mistake. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go jump, 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 jump. I reckon so. Jump. I mean, how many times this video have I said jump? Like, it's got to be, especially in the ones that you won't even have heard. Final test of the pro. Like, oh, we're nearly playing the real game now, boys. So jump up, jump across, jump across, jump across. I feel like I'm playing Frogger, but like, you know. Well, that is getting cut. I hear it, I hear it. it yes. I, I unlocked an insanity level. Uh, I'm just going to finish this level, and then we're going to do the insanity level. Because I don't think that I could actually complete this 
and say that I am a uh, um, big, big brain speedrunner without doing the insanity level. Play. I don't know what the difference is for this. Insanity 1, what's your step? So we've got <laughs> number 3, Giga Chad. Nice. Um, so we've got like red around our screen. Does this, is this a timer? Does this mean if we don't, we die? Or what's going on? Uh, I'm just going to let the timer run out and we'll just see what does in fact happen. Oh, I thought we were going to like madly instantly die. But I, think, I think I was getting a bit overconfident because I was playing on the prologue. Like, I, I believe that is what may have happened. So we're going to take this slow and steady because we we're not trying to get the perfect time on this yet. Uh, at the moment we are just trying to survive. Um, which genuinely is not a guarantee. Also, if you haven't ever played this game before, or like, I don't know, maybe you download it after seeing this, please let me know what sort of scores you're getting on each level. Because I want, I want a frame of reference It isn't just the top 10 people in the world. Like, you know what I mean? I also want to know, like, you know, playtime. So if one of you has, like, 10 hours but a better score, I will rest easier than if someone, when I, someone has, like, you know, 30 minutes and has just beaten me on their first go. Because that would be very demoralising. And uh, it's upsetting us. I said I've got enough five hours to edit this. And I'm an awful editor, so that, that might be a... That might pose a challenge. Yes! Come on. Right, so that is going to be it for today. Um, I do hope you enjoyed, and if it seems a little bit, you know, less well edited or a bit scuffier than a lot of my usual content, uh, and most of my other content, I have a lot more time to sort of plan and edit. This, uh, I only realised that my original plan wouldn't work like a few hours ago, but yeah, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you are new around there, please, please subscribe. And uh, I mean, I've not seen it yet, but I'm currently on a call with Chief and he's designing the thumbnail, so let's, let's hope the thumbnail is good for this video. Uh, yeah, see you next Friday, boys.